Julie, well, investigators wanted a thorough investigation in this case, and they had a lot of evidence to sift through before these arrests could be made. But tonight, the person who has been a prime suspect in this case all along is now facing several criminal charges. I, I just wonder why. I always, whenever I read or see something like this, I wonder what could possibly motivate anybody to do something this stupid. As an avid hunter and owner of Dance's sporting goods, Marlon Dance was angry when he learned the story behind this photo, a post shared in December by 36-year-old Jason Walters of Richmond, claiming to have shot a 29-point buck in Prince Edward County using a muzzle loader. But the post immediately drew suspicion when several people recognized the majestic deer as the renowned Hollywood buck known for roaming Richmond's Hollywood Cemetery. But there were people that would go there to take pictures of that deer and the other deer that are in that cemetery, and it's kind of a staple of the whole Richmond area. On Sunday, Walters was arrested and charged with 19 separate wildlife violations related to the illegal killing of three deer, including the Hollywood buck. Another man, 36-year-old Alan Prophet of Richmond, is believed to be an accomplice and is facing pending charges. You know, this was a very high-profile case for us, probably one of the most high-profile. I, I just wonder why. I always, whenever I read or see something like this, I wonder what could possibly motivate anybody to do something this stupid. As an avid hunter and owner of Dance's sporting goods, Marlon Dance was angry when he learned the story behind this photo, a post shared in December by 36-year-old Jason Walters of Richmond, claiming to have shot a 29-point buck in Prince Edward County using a muzzle loader. But the post immediately drew suspicion when several people recognized the majestic deer as the renowned Hollywood buck known for roaming Richmond's Hollywood Cemetery. But there were people that would go there to take pictures of that deer and the other deer that are in that cemetery, and it's kind of a staple of the whole Richmond area. On Sunday, Walters was arrested and charged with 19 separate wildlife violations related to the illegal killing of three deer, including the Hollywood buck. Another man, 36-year-old Alan Prophet of Richmond, is believed to be an accomplice and is facing pending charges. You know, this was a very high-profile case for us, probably one of the most high-profile wildlife poaching cases that I've seen in my tenure with the agency. And, more than 18 years. Major Ryan Schuler, Deputy Chief with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, says conservation officers recovered two sets of antlers, including those from the Hollywood buck. These officers executed 10 separate search warrants, conducted numerous suspect interviews, um, had to comb through uh, a considerable amount of, of data and information. I'd throw the book at him if I had anything to do with it. Dan says he hopes the arrest send a message to those who hunt illegally. It's a bad um, feather, maybe, in the hat of all great ethical hunters when somebody goes out and does something like that. I mean, we all try to play by the rules and, and do what we're supposed to do, whether we like the rules or not. Um, and the outdoor community is pretty damn good about it. Now, Walters is facing several charges tonight, including illegal possession of wildlife, trespassing, and failing to check and tag a deer. The most serious charge does carry a possible jail sentence. Reporting live in Richmond, Tracy Sears. Now back to you.